to I Pray. We are so glad that you are here. I am filling in for Natalie and Kathy, and she will be back next week. So we are so grateful that you are here. We have, there are lots of things in the city that is happening, and we are excited about it. Yeah, um, yeah. So I wanted to, uh, before we start praying, just announce tonight at the Alamo Dome, at 6.30, you do have to go online, um, and it at, starts at 6.30. They're going to have different bands there. They're going to have one of my favorite, King and Country, tonight. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. Tonight, tomorrow, our city is evangelizing. We are excited about that because we know that is our it's our joy it's not just a job that we have but it's a joy that we get to evangelize the city of san antonio the outskirts wherever you're watching from we get to evangelize as the uh, church of the living god right amen, <laughs> amen. amen. so it does start at 6 30. look that up and uh tonight at the alamo dome so what the Lord has put on my heart today is, of course, about evangelism. Um, and we will go evangelizing, but evangelizing our young people, yeah. evangelizing our teenagers, and um, because they are the next generation that is coming up. So that's really what the Lord has put on my heart. Um, Psalms. 113 says praise the Lord mm. praise the Lord you his servants praise the name of the Lord let the name of the Lord be praised both now and forevermore Hallelujah. so that is our job is to Hallelujah. praise the Lord wherever we're at wherever we go as we are praising the Lord that's part of evangelizing as we praise the Lord wherever we go because the light of God will shine in us. And then it says, the Lord is exalted over all the nations, his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God? The one who sits enthroned on high, who stoops down to look on the heavens and the earth. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with princes, with the princes of his people. He settles the childless woman in her home as a happy mother of children. Praise the Lord. Yes, so as you see here, the Lord loves the needy. He loves the poor. And they are all over. Those that are not uh, born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, they are poor and needy they need the lord and we as the church um we're going to start praying the first thing that we're going to pray for is joy we must have joy to evangelize wherever we go because we are the light of the church um we should have smiles on our faces and we should just have the joy the light when there is light in our eyes yeah. that means there is light when somebody shines a light on you, your eyes open. Uh, if it's dark, you can really see. So we are the light. So today, uh, let's start by praying joy in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you today, Lord, Thank because you, the joy of the Lord is our strength. It's not in uh, having fun, Lord, although we as Christians have fun, but it's uh, not that. Because when Christ was on the cross, the joy of us being coming into the kingdom gave him strength. Mm. So, Father, we pray the joy of the Lord in the church today, that you're complete. It says, the word says that your joy uh, brings completion. Your joy brings us to a place where uh, a fullness of your joy so, Father, we pray for those that are hurting today in the church yes. that your joy may be full. Father, the two women that I saw 
in uh, while shopping, and the Lord put in my heart they need strength, and so I just got close to them and and I prayed. Uh, I spoke to them just like speaking, and I said, "Oh, uh, would I? I pray that you have strength today." And the lady looked at me and she said, "How did you know? Yeah. Yeah. How did you know that? I didn't know." But it is the joy of the Lord that is my strength that could pour into them. Yes. And Lord, yes, she turned away from me and her tears were coming down. And then she brought me later on a card of a dearly departed one that had just passed away into glory this month. Because Lord, you know the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes, they were hurting, Father. And we pray in the name of Jesus yes, that the Lord. joy that we carry would be multiplied, Lord, yes, and Father. would be given, mm -hmm. Lord, as you have given yes, it to Father. us. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And Father God, right now in, in 1 Peter chapter 1, the word says, And glorious joy for you are receiving the end result of your faith, mm -hmm. the salvation of your souls. And Father God, we rejoice, Lord, that we're receiving our end result, Lord, of our faith, Lord. Yes. And Father God, as, as people go out this weekend, Lord, and, and Father God, evangelize, Lord, that Father God, that they would realize this, Lord, that they would remember this, Lord, that mm -hmm. it's the end result that we're giving yes. them, Lord. We're giving them something that, that this world is so lacking, Lord, that Father God, that Father God, people are walking around like... I'm going to go ahead and use the word zombies, Lord. And Father God, they don't know which way is, is left. They don't know which way is right, Lord. They just, they're just they just going in circles, Lord. But Father God, to this weekend, Lord, that Father God, as all these people go out and minister, Lord, that Father God, that it would not just be a weekend thing, Lord, but Father God, it would be a lifestyle, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, and Father God, we thank you, Lord, that Father God, that you're bringing this joy because when you bring this joy, it's easy, Lord. Uh -huh. It's Lord. easy to, to yes. minister, Lord. And Father God, that they would not forget their testimonies of what yes. God has done for them, Lord. Yes. Because it's, yes. the, it's the word of our testimony that, that breaks that yoke of bondage, Lord, in these people's lives, Lord. And, and they would understand that we are real, Lord. That we're not fake, Lord. That, that we are the real thing, Lord. And Father God, we thank you, Lord, that Father God, that this weekend... It's going to be a glorious weekend, yes. Lord, and, mm. and people yes. are going to get saved and delivered and healed yes. and, yes. and everything else, Lord. And we're yes. believing for thank glorious you. things, Lord. Uh -huh. yes. And we thank you, Lord, for that joy, mm. Lord, in Jesus' yes. name, Lord. Mm. Thank mm. you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Thank you, Father, I thank you, Lord. It is the joy of our salvation that gives us strength. And, Father... Just like uh, Rudy was praying right now, our testimonies, that we would remember our testimony of when you brought us out yes, of oppression, when you brought us out of darkness, yes. that we would remember our testimonies with joy and that as we look back and we could say, look what the Lord has done Amen. for me, yes. how you've given us joy, how you've healed our bodies, how you've given us um you have just changed us. You've changed the way that we think. We change. You have changed the way that we speak, Lord, yes, because it's you, yes. so that we would mirror you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, that, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that we would declare your goodness and your works, how you've changed it us, yes, how you've have changed yes. us in Jesus name. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. A a prayer of joy. Yes, Lord. We're praying right now, Lord, that you would give us the joy that can only come from you. Not what the world brings, but what you give us, Lord. Peace and joy that can only come from you. So thank you, Lord. You have given us the constant access to your presence because you are always with us. I can experience true joy at all times, although the joy you give isn't based on circumstances, I don't always live a life marked by joy. Too often, instead of trusting, of trusting you, too often, instead of trusting you, we do our own, our own uh, thing. So right now, Lord, we lift up all the uh, uh, intercessors, Lord, 
for what's happening in this city, the Alamo city, Lord. That the youth will have their eyes and their ears open, Lord. That you will open their ears and eyes to hear what the Spirit is saying, Lord. And just going to camp uh, last two weeks ago, I saw the youth. They're hungry. They were so hungry. I saw tears coming Amen. down their eyes. And it, it just woke me up at my age, knowing that you're using yeah. the senior citizens or the adults to go out and just speak a word of God, speak to them, comfort them. Yeah. They are lost. This generation coming up is after lockdown and everything else. They need you, Jesus. So yes, Father, we lift up all all the prayers going up to you, Lord, knowing that you answer prayers, Father God. So right now, Lord, we thank you for allowing us to sit here and just intercede for the lost, stand in the gap for them, Lord, knowing that you will do a good thing. All good things come from you, Father God. Mm -hmm. The enemy is a defeated foe. We just rebuke him just anywhere that, that he's attacking the children Lord, and the adults. So right now, Father God, we thank you in advance for what you're going to do in the city, our city, and that continue to resonate all over the country, the nation. Lord. We need you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord, um, Lord, we lift up the youth to you. Just like, Lord, I would pray for my own grandsons yes. that are that age. That, Father, they would so desire you, Lord. That, Lord, in mm. Proverbs 1, it says that they would run from evil, Lord. Yes. And that they would ask you for wisdom and knowledge mm -hmm. and understanding. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes. And they would honor their parents, their father and their mother, or whoever's raising them, Father, their grandparents, Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, that they would become so hungry and thirsty for you, Lord. We pray, Father God, that... They would be very respectful, Father, to the elderly, Lord. And they would um, encourage their peers, Lord. And they would stand up, Lord, when no one else is standing up, but they would stand up and say that we love the, the Lord, I love the Lord. And that they would reach out to their peers that are um, hurting, Lord. Mm -hmm. Even those, Father God, that are, um, that, um, that are sick, that the youth, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, would be so hungry. That's what I hear you say. Be mm. so hungry mm. for yes. you. Yes. That they would love your word. Yes. That they would keep your precepts, Father. Yes. Lord, just like David would cry out, Lord, in Psalms 119, Lord. Father, and that they would have great peace. With, and they would love your law. In the name of Jesus, as it says in Psalms 119, we declare it in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Father God, as we've gone out and ministered in different areas here in San Antonio, Lord, the number one request, Lord, that I've gotten when I've asked for people that if they needed prayer, it was not prayer for them, but it was always prayer for their children, yes, Lord. Yes, God. Father God, I'm talking about from fathers to mothers, Lord. It was always for the children, Lord. And Father God, we just lift up these children, Lord, yes, this, Lord. this weekend, Lord. And that, Father God, that there would be a transformation, Lord, that would happen, Lord. That, Father God, as the prophet had, had spoken, Lord, of the grace that was given and that was to come, Lord. Father God, I ask you, Lord, to have grace and that they would have that joy to want to continue, Lord. That, Father God, that it would not just be a weekend thing, Lord, but that it would yes. be a lifestyle mm, change, yeah. Lord. Yes, yes. And, Father God, we thank you, Lord, that, Father God, that you're coming in with your grace and your mercy, mm. Lord. And, Father God, that they just follow each other. Grace and mercy just follow yes. each other, Lord. And, Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you're bringing them that, that joy, that you're covering them with that joy, Lord, to continue and, and push forward, that this next generation would not be a lost generation, but it, it would be a, yes. a generation yes. that was founded you, and that Lord. it would be grounded, Lord, on the on the rock, which is Jesus Christ, oh, Lord. Yes. And that, Father God, that from this that moment on, Lord, that they would no, never look back, but they would always look forward to you, Lord. And continually following you, Lord, throughout their life, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for that. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And as I hear you this morning, Lord, your word comes to me where two or three are gathered. You are with us, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes. I thank you for those that this small group here right now, everybody viewing this segment right now, all the people that have been involved in bringing this weekend event that's coming yes. together, Lord. We all come into agreement. The two young men that were, that they were, um, putting all this event together, Lord. All these things tie in together, Lord, and we stand in agreement as the brethren of the church, Lord, your church, that all these prayers, all the intercessors, mm -hmm. all the prayer requests, Lord, they have fallen on good soil, mm -hmm. Lord. Yes, Lord. The seeds have been planted, Lord, and more seed to come, Heavenly Father, and you are the great gardener. You are going to tend to these seeds, Heavenly Father. And your word is your word. It does not change. We are standing in agreement that no matter, mm. no matter what the enemy tries, mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. weapon mm -hmm. formed mm -hmm. against mm -hmm. this will mm -hmm. prosper. Mm -hmm. This generation that we lift up to you, Lord, mm -hmm. this new generation that the world looks on and speaks negatively of, you look at them, Lord, and you say, those are my children. Uh, yes, yes, those yes, are yes, my yes. children that I created in Thank my you, image, and I am so pleased because the plan you have for them, that which they are going to do, even some of these at a young age my already God. have such a testimony because yes. they have been tested and tried through, through great trials from this world. But they're going to be used mightily by you, Lord. And it is their testimony yes. that are going to bring more from their generation, Lord. Because we just speak your word into them. And your word is life. Yes. We thank you for this, Lord. We thank you that all this seed, we may not see, but you are in charge of everything. Thank you, Lord. Father, your word says in Psalms 36 and 5, your love, Lord, reaches mm -hmm. to the heavens, yes. your faithfulness to the skies, your righteousness is like the highest mountain, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, preserve both people and animals. Yes. How priceless is your unfailing love, thank O you, God. Yes. We thank you, Father, for your unfailing love. We thank you, Father, it, your word says, people take refuge in the shadow of your wings. Father, we declare your unfailing you, love, Jesus. Father, throughout yes. the city. We declare Thank your unfailing you, love because of your faithfulness, yes. Father God. Yes. We declare your unfailing you, love, Father God, in yes. the name of Thank Jesus. You, as San Antonio comes together you, in Father unity, Lord. Father God, Shana. and those that are coming from wherever else, Lord, into San Antonio, we declare your unfailing love, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, you have called us, Lord, in Jesus' name as a body, Lord, to bring to the, um, to bring uh, your faithfulness, your love, Father God, as a body, your body, your bride. We thank you, Father. We are like stones as we come together, as we pray, as we work, Father God, in the workplace, in the market, Lord in uh, the school system, in the health system, Father, with families, Lord. We are stone upon stone, Lord, and we build, you build us as your church, and we declare your unfailing love as we go forth, Father God, knowing together as a body we are needed together you, in the name of Jesus, Amen. just as Nehemiah built the wall, Lord, to reach and secure, secure that which you desired to build, Lord, that your house would be built, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, Lord, 
in the name of Jesus, that the stones are being put together, Lord, because everyone in your body is needed, Lord. Those that just come in, those that have just been to here in the body of Christ for long, for many, many years. We thank you, Father God, for the salvations because of your unfailing love, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare it. Thank you. Yes, Father, in Psalms 41, you tell us your word, Father, tells us, he says in Psalms David, he says, blessed is he that considereth the poor. Yes. We mentioned the poor, Father. San Antonio has a lot of areas, districts that are very poor economically, but your word says that you, you, Father, our Lord, will deliver him in time of trouble. It doesn't matter if they don't have uh, the funds to make these uh, events, but it's free because freely you give us, Lord. Freely we receive and freely we give. And every time we speak to someone out in the byways, wherever, that we just speak your word, Father God, uh, bringing them uh, a good word, the gospel, the good news. Some of them never heard the good news, the gospel. So I've heard these children when I ask them, What do you want me to pray for? Brother Rui was asking. They're asking to pray for their parents, for their mother, for their father. Amen. And I, I, it just burns my heart because I see them out there playing by themselves at the park and uh, no adult supervision. Mm. And it makes me wonder, where are the parents? Where are the grandparents? So yes, Lord, we lift up those that are poor, that are mm. poor in spirit and, 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 you know, just living day to day without no hope. But there is hope yes. through you, Father. You are a foundation. You are the, our deliverer. You, you give us this peace and joy that can only come from you, Lord. We want to pass that on to these children and adults and grandparents. We, uh, as mature saints, believe that we still have an assignment to do and that you give us wisdom and understanding, your spiritual wisdom and understanding, Father, so we can complete our purpose while we're here. And right now, Father God, we know that the world is hurting. Every nation is hurting, Father God. These children that are worldwide just right now suffering in, in very poor conditions, Father God, that, that you will help them, Lord. You will help them. You will keep them alive, Lord. It says in, in verse 2, the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. Hallelujah. Amen. And he shall be blessed upon the earth, and thou wilt not deliver him into the will of his enemy. Mm -hmm. So right now we rebuke the enemy and his cohorts. They're out there just deceiving the young, the young ones, the youth, everyone. It says, the Lord says, do not be deceived by any man. So right now, Father God, we just uh, thank you, Father, for helping us pray. We know that you're an you answer our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we take dominion and authority over Satan in the yes, airways hallelujah. that tries to pollute the airways Lord. with homosexual spirits, Father God, okay. that will try to draw our children away, that will try to draw, Lord, in the name of Jesus, our youth away. We disarm you, Satan, in the name of Jesus, in the heavenlies. We disarm you and we command you, you will loose your hold in the name of Jesus. In this city and the outskirts, you will loose your hold in the name of Jesus. Where they gather in the restaurants, where they gather in the gyms, where they gather in the different place, places, Father God, those that are uh, saved, Lord. When you sent me to the gym yesterday, you said I'm sending you because the young people that are saved have little strength. And Father God, you said in Jesus' name, as I was there, Father, to stand on this ground, which became holy ground, strength would come into them. Father, we speak strength where these young people are. We speak strength in the name of Jesus. We speak strength to the young. I hear the young teachers that have just come in. I speak strength to them in the name of Jesus. We speak strength in the mighty name of Jesus, and that, Father, they will not be double-minded in Jesus' name, and they would, Father God, listen to the older ones, Lord, and glean on the anointings that they have, glean and hear the words of wisdom that you've given, Father, in the name of Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, 
in this day that we live in, Father God, set them on solid ground in the mighty name of Jesus. Set them on solid ground. Hallelujah. Father, 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 we thank you that uh, your word says that if you faint in the in the, if you faint in the day of adversity, then your strength is small. But we know right now that that strength comes only from you. Yes. yes. And we are dependent wholly on you. Yes. And Father, we ask you to minister that that those spirits of condemnation and guilt to yes. those that yes. are in the body of Christ that yes. say, oh, I just can't do that. I was, just, yes. I failed at that. Yes. You lying spirits, yes. you let go of every mind, Father God, and I thank you that there's a hunger for your word in all of us, Father God, to put down every thought, to put down every memory, to put down every sensation of evil that comes against our mind. You are a liar, devil, and you're not going to have the minds of our young people. We thank you for the word everywhere. Every place they turn, there's the word in somebody's mouth. That the word is in our actions when we when we speak love to them, Father. That they're going to see that love and they're going to feel that strength that comes only from you, Father. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray, Father God, for the young people, Lord, that are watching their parents. We pray that the parents would be diligent, Lord, yes. the, about what your word says, Father God. When they take them to church, Father God, when they're at the table, in their yes. homes, yes. at work, Father, yes. that the parents would Thank be you. as yes. your word says. Yes. That they would not, Father, get the, ch the children, the teenagers tired, Lord, because it's the youth Abba. that is watching them, Father. Yes. And we pray in the Abba. name of Jesus that Lord. the parents will not be double minded you, in the name of Jesus you, but they would stand for their children that they would pray for their friends that they would pray for their neighborhood in the name of Jesus that father as they pray Lord that the walls of protection would go up for every youth for every young person for every child for every baby in the name of Jesus Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Lord Father, we pray stability to the parents, yes. to the families, Lord, Hallelujah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you, Father. Your word says here in uh, Psalms 31, verse 10, My life is consumed by anguish and my years by groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction and my bones grow weak. Because of all my enemies, I am the utter contempt of my neighbors and an object of dread yes. to my close friends. Those who see me on the street flee from me. I am forgotten as though I were dead. I have become like broken pottery. For I hear the whisperings, terror on every side. They conspire against me and plot to take my life. Father, that's what some of the young people yeah. are saying. That's what they think. But Lord, this is what you say. Mm, but yes. I trust in yes. you, your Lord. Word. Yes. I say you are my God. Yes. My times yes. are in yes. your hands. We declare it that yes. their times are in your hands yes. in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from the hands yes. of my enemy, from those who pursue me. Let your face shine on your servants. Save me in your unfailing love. We declare it that your sh face will shine on your servants, your youth, your young people, your children, your babies, Father. We declare it in the name of Jesus, Father. Let me not be put to shame, Lord, for I have cried out to you, but let the wicked be put to shame and Hallelujah. be silent in the realm of Hallelujah. the dead. Hallelujah. Let their lying lips Hallelujah. be silent, yes. for with pride and contempt they speak arrogantly mm -hmm. against the righteous. Mm. How abundant are the good things that yes, you Father. have stored up for those yes, who fear you, that you bestow Hallelujah. in the sight of all yes. on those who take refuge thank in you. you. We thank you, Father, that, Father, you are teaching them by your Spirit to take refuge in you, Lord, in the mighty mm. name of Jesus, we declare it. I want to just uh, change it a little bit as we uh, go on here. Glory. Um, 
I've been reading this book, Supernatural Communications by Rachel um, Hickson, and it's very good, and it really talks about going through your neighborhoods and praying uh, for your neighborhoods, and I um, just wanted to read a little bit here about um, Nehemiah, and then uh, we're going to pray into that. In Psalms 110, 3 says, Your troops will be willing on your day of battle, array in holy majesty. From the womb of the dawn, you will receive the dew of your youth. And she talks about here, about uh, in our neighborhoods praying and how we're so in, how it's so important because as new Christians come in, sometimes we think, well, how are we going to pray? Of course, we know the churches are open to be discipled, but everybody has a calling, whether it's um, in the medical field, whether it's teaching, whether it's in the business world, or even a, a mother staying home uh, with their family, the papas going out to work. Uh, so everyone has a place. And... Um, so Nehemiah, here it says, Nehemiah has been walking the streets of the city and praying, and gradually over those days of prayer, walking in Jerusalem, a strategy was be beginning to form. He was beginning to see his city and understand, we need to rebuild. And that's what I believe that the Lord is doing here. Yes, yes. Why do we pray in the workplace, and why do we pray... Um, wherever, whatever field that you are in, whether it's the home, like I said, the, the medical teaching, why do we pray? Because when you pray, we're building the walls of the Lord. We're mm -hmm. building a structure that is going in, up Hallelujah. so that the generations would be protected. And that's what we've been praying for today is the generations. Yes. So when we pray in our neighborhoods or where you're at, Young people come around and you are securing. It's like securing the border of where you're at. Oh, and yeah. so everybody's doing that throughout the city. So that's where the standard of the living God raises up throughout the city as we're praying in our homes. That's where we start praying in our churches, praying wherever we are called. But that's where we build up the wall. And as we build up the wall, the Lord will have his way. Yes. Isn't that exciting? Yes, so yes. we're going to pray that as um, the SA Unite, when that's finished, that yes. the walls of protection will continue to be built and the people will remain yes. in the kingdom of God Amen. wherever we uh, are built. So if you're like... In teaching, you, you pray for that. Medical, you pray for that. Home, you we're just going to pray for that. Amen. So, Father, we lift up as the wall of protection is being built in our cities, Lord. We lift that up to you. Mm -hmm. Father, as I was home and I had a great responsibility to raise the children at home, because that was my desire to be where my children were that I could raise them. And I thank you for that, Lord. So, Father, I pray, Lord, for the mothers that stay home, those that homeschool, Father God, those that are raising their own children at home. I pray that you would give them a desire, Lord, to walk the neighborhoods, Father, yes, Father. because yes. their children will engage with other children, Lord, mm -hmm. as they go out to play, that they would walk their neighborhoods mm -hmm. and, Lord, be sensitive to what you say, Lord, as you train them to war in their own neighborhoods, mm -hmm. as you train them to war in the schools, Lord, when they take their children to schools or if they're homeschooling, or wherever they go, Lord, on field trips, Father, as a mother that stays at home, Lord, would do in ministering to the children, Father God. Father, 
I pray, Lord, that strength would come to the mothers and that they would never think that I'm just a stay-at-home parent, but they are putting into them that which you desire, Lord, your word, your love, your compassion, Father, in the name of Jesus, that they would watch and pray just like you would tell me, go for a walk when I was a young mother, and you would say, jump up the curb, off the curb, up the curb, off the curb. But you were teaching me and training me to hear your voice as a young mother. Well, I pray the same for the young parents, the young mothers that are at home, Lord, that they would know that as they're filled with your spirit, you will lead and guide them, Father, to raise healthy children healthy adults father with the mind of christ and that have a heart that burns for you lord and will fulfill your will on this earth as it is in heaven father and they would live for you as my prayers have always been for my kids that they would live for you all the days of their life and fulfill your will yes and father god and as the spouse comes home lord that they would already have in the name of jesus father god that uh, table prepared of love the table prepared father god of rest from the coming from that world that causes a person to be weary that that mother would have a table set spiritually first father and then in the natural for the spouse lord for the husband that comes home we thank you father god and we praise you father for all the parents that stay home lord because you crown them with glory lord and and that for the happy homes that you cause them to be father in the name of jesus you lift up a standard in the different neighborhoods lord with your glory and honor in jesus name and father god in in first peter chapter 1 verse 12 it says it was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves, but they were serving you, yes, Lord, Father right. God. And I speak this for the first responders, Lord, that, Father God, that they would realize, Lord, as they go into different situations, different things, Lord, that they are not just serving those people, but they are serving you, Lord, in a greater capacity, Lord, that, Father God, that they would know that it is because of the Spirit of Christ that lives in them, Lord, that they that you have pointed them and you have designated this time, Lord, you have anointed this time for them to be in those situations, Lord, to be able to help the community, Lord, to be able to help the people that are in need, Lord, that the Father God, that they would continually, Lord, search your kingdom and your righteousness and that you would be continually add on to them, Lord. And Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you're doing this for these first responders, Lord. I'm just not talking about uh, EMS and, and fire, but I'm talking about police and, right. and, and, and nurses, Lord, whoever is involved in the emergency rooms, Lord. These All these people, Lord, that, that are part of all this, Lord, that, Father God, that you would help them, Lord, and that they would understand, Lord, that, that you are the one that they are serving, Lord, and they're not serving them themselves, Lord, or, or accolades or any of this other stuff, Lord, that they're, they're serving the, the greater good, Lord, which is Jesus Christ, Lord. Amen. And, Father God, Amen. we thank you, Lord, that you have anointed their hands, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And for such a time as this, Lord, to be able to lay hands on these people, Lord, and that, Father God, that they would bring healing, Lord, that they would bring uh, deliverance, Lord, whatever the, these people may need, Lord, that if they just need peace, Lord, at the, in certain situations, Lord, that they would walk in with the propagation Hallelujah. of the gospel of peace on their feet, Lord. Yes, and, Father Lord, God, we yes. thank you, Lord, for that. We thank you, Lord, that you are moving in their lives, mm, Lord, glory. and that you're making a difference glory. in the community, Father, Lord, because of them, Lord, and, and oh, because Lord. of your anointing that you have placed on yes. them, because of the Spirit of Christ that is glory. in them, Lord, today, glory. in Jesus' name, yes. Lord. Glory, and glory. we give you all the glory, Lord, and all the yes. praise. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed Thank be you. your name, Lord. Thank you. Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed Blessed you. Be your name. Father, as those who stand in authority in this city, we, the intercessors, we now take authority in Hallelujah. the area of education. Yes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And Father, Hallelujah. as an educator, I know what these children are going through and being indoctrinated. So right now, in the name of Jesus, Jesus we thank you that every spirit of darkness thank you. Thank you. we cast down oh, over the school districts. 
of San Antonio and the surrounding areas. And I'm just going to name them. Yes, 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 yes. yes. For Northside, yes. For Northeast, yes. For Judson, yes. For Shirt Cibolo, yes. For Randolph, yes. for Alamo Heights, for Fort Sam Houston, for East Central, for San Antonio, yes. for Southside, yes. 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 Floresville. Southwest, South San, Harlandale, yes. Blackland, and Edgewood, and those in the uh, surrounding of Bear County. Yes. We take authority Hallelujah. right now Hallelujah. over Hallelujah. every spirit of darkness yes. that's yes. trying to take, that's yes. taken hold yes. of school board members. We yes. command you right now, take your hands off yes. of the minds yes. of school board members. No yes. Take your hands off of the minds of, of those in leadership. Take your hands off the minds of the teachers, Father. Yes. In the name of Jesus. And we declare an open heaven. Oh, Father, thank you for the angelic, the warring hosts of heaven that have come down to smash that. We call upon that help and we thank you that they have come to take that away. We thank you for it, Father. And so, Father, we declare an open heaven over each one of these districts, Father God. And we call in godly teachers. Yes, yes, we call in godly school board members. Thank you for those that have, that have awakened, the parents that says, we're not going to take this anymore. And Father, they go to the school board and they say, this is what we want. And they speak it in peace and they speak it in love. And Father, we just say, it will be done according to your will. We thank you, Father, that even this very year, new teachers are coming in that have your heart. Thank you. That's, that Agent. they are your secret agents. Hallelujah. And they were going to speak into the children's lives in a yes. way that can't be yes. refuted. They can't be they, they can't uh, they can't be yes. told you can't yes. say that because Jesus. we speak the truth in love Jesus. without even we show our love Father yes. God yes. we lay our hands on kids and Lord, pray for them Lord, silently Lord, Lord. we do Lord. things Father in the school Lord, district Lord. that cannot be erased Lord. and Father we thank you Father. for the children that are coming into the school that they'll feel a new peace this yes, year. Yes, yes, yes. Even this fall, Father God, yes, we yes. call that joy that we've been speaking oh, about yes. to come into the hearts of the teachers. Down. Yes, Lord. Yes. A strength, Father God, that only Holy comes Spirit. from you. Thank and we you, give you Spirit. praise and glory because we're going to oh, see yes. Yes. changes yes. in our school Thank system. Yes. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Heavenly Father, I come before you, Lord, and I speak on behalf, and I stand proxy, Lord, for the entire medical field. Heavenly Father, there's so many men and women there, from the highest to the lowest, on that totem pole, Lord. We can speak to the most just affluent anesthesiologists mm, and yes, surgeons, yes. the neurologists, Lord, all these specialty areas, Heavenly Father, all the nurses, the nurse practitioners, the CNAs, they all have a title, Lord, but in the kingdom of Hallelujah. God, they are all equal. Yes. And Heavenly Father, I speak a Holy Ghost boldness Holy. to those who know you, yes. who have been tried to, yes. they have been shut. Yes. They want to be shut. Mm. They yes. want their mouths to be shut Break when through. it's time to speak mm. truth. Oh. And it is seen that they are being overpowered, Lord. But this day forward, we speak that Holy uh -huh. Ghost boldness uh -huh. into these people that know who you are, who know right from wrong, who know that when it is time to come oh and be that ambassador for you, Lord, to be that spokesperson on your behalf, oh, Lord, yeah. Thank you, to Lord. be that yes. representative, yes, Lord, Lord, for Thank these you, patients, yes, for Lord. these orphans, these orphans could be of all age, Lord, because we have Thank so you, many Lord. senior elderly who have no family or who have been Thank abandoned by their family. Lord. And in this time and space they are orphans because yes. there is nobody there who comes to speak on their behalf lord let these medical individuals just have that holy ghost yes. boldness that in spite of yes, everything father. they've been told repercussions uh -huh. that could come if they oh. speak out lord that it doesn't matter 
and you will protect them, Your Lord. You will keep them from Hallelujah. every weapon the enemy Hallelujah. wants to throw at them, Lord. Hallelujah. As it is spoken before, Lord, yes, they yes, are covered Lord. in the full armor of God. Glory, glory. And those who don't know this, Lord, we stand today yes. and we come cover them yes. Yes. with that full armor of God yes, and I know Lord you're going to move mightily for you will bring teaching to these individuals to show them the authority that they have in the kingdom the authority that they have and who they are and who they truly represent Heavenly Father that they will have that boldness and when that boldness comes I see some are not going to know what's happening some are not going to know where is this coming from. And I see them shaking. They're, that phrase, they're shaking in their boots. But they are going to stand and represent the kingdom for those who have no voice. It yes. doesn't matter. Yes, it can go hand in hand, Lord, yes, with the science oh, and the medicine and you, Lord. Because it is you. It is you that blessed the science and medicine to move the way we move today, Lord. And there's gonna be a recognition and respect. There will be respect, Heavenly Father, in this area. There's time, even housekeeping. I see you use anybody you choose. Mm. Yes. When these individuals are in that room, some of them are in such a lonely state and they are abandoned and they do feel hopelessness. You will even bring in yes. housekeeping yes, who may be humming Hallelujah. a song Hallelujah. or whistling a tune. Yes, and that Lord. is going to bring back to their remembrance something from a childhood <laughs> or long ago. Yes. And that individual is going to speak that. Glory and Jesus. the Holy Jesus. Spirit is going to move Jesus. mightily yes. because you will use anybody yes. you yes. choose, yes. Lord. Yes. It doesn't matter who. It could even be a person coming in and bringing their food tray, Lord. But you will not abandon your children. No. You will move mightily. Glory. And as that miraculous presence of Holy Spirit will stay in these rooms, yes, everybody that comes in, yes. and I am speaking to clinics and hospitals and doctor's yes. offices, yes, and Lord. everywhere we have people with yes, medical Lord. staff this is going to take place and mm. all that yes. Yes. that yes. presence Declare. is not yes. going to leave yes. and yes. they are going to be Thank they are going to be touched Hallelujah. by holy spirit as it happened in Hallelujah. acts when the holy spirit yes. came uh -huh. in the book of acts <laughs> and the holy <laughs> spirit just had their oh. his way with the disciples yes. there's going to be a new fire yes, a new yes, breath speaking oh, lord yes. And it's even going to come from Your these word. individuals who felt so lost and so lonely Hallelujah. and so hopeless yes. and so abandoned. Yes, You're going to breathe. Yes. You're going to breathe your breath of yes. life into them yes. and give them that which they once had, Lord. And we thank you for this, Lord. And you, some of them, they think they're so basic and you want me to leave them with this. But it is not basic. The world has looked upon this and said, that's just such a basic prayer. But this prayer was given to us by our Savior. Yes. And we speak yes. his words, Lord. Our Father, yes. which art in yes, heaven, God. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the mighty move that is taking place today in the medical field. And they don't even know what's happening Hallelujah. today. Hallelujah. Mm. We praise Thank the Lord. you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, I also would like to lift up the fathers in the house, mm. Thank the you, grandparents, Jesus. the fathers, the men that live in these homes, that they also get an awakening, Lord, that the Holy Spirit touch them, Lord. They know what they've lived when they were younger and the way it was and yes. what it is now. 
for their grandchildren, for their sons and daughters, that they step in and seek you, Lord, wholeheartedly, that they will, it says in your word, that if they seek you, they will find you, Father God. My prayers are for the men of the house, including my sons and my, my nephews that are just raising children, Father God, that they be touched by the Holy Spirit right now, Lord, that His presence is here in this city, in this state, Lord, that your, your hand will move, move upon them, Lord, awaken their spirit, Lord, their spirit, soul, and body, Lord, that they will give up drugs, alcohol, whatever it may be that is keeping them from being a father figure to their children, Lord, their own children and their neighbors, or any anywhere that they go, Lord, that they will be more compassionate to other children that, that they're playing with their children, that they will interject a word, a word of God, the word of God, even if it's just a simplicity gospel that Jesus died on the cross for us, for all of us, for all nations, all tongues. So I've seen these at the parks, Lord. They're just on their phones doing, letting the children just run rampant. So Lord, break those generational curses, no matter what they grew up, uh, the environment they grew up in, Lord, that you can break those chains of bondage and, and whatever they went through, Lord that they also will be awakened during this time of harvest, that the children will also look up to their parents and bring them a word, a word that they hear from someone that you put in their life, Lord. Right now, we just lift up all the men throughout the world, Lord. They become godly men. In the name of Jesus, we lift them up. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 58, and starting at verse uh, 6. Hallelujah. As we declare for the church, for those that are uh, the pastors, um, those that are leading the flock, and um, we declare this and we pray this uh, for them yes. as they teach. Hallelujah. Lord. Is not this the kind of fasting I have chose to loose the chains of injustice? Oh, oh, oh and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free, and yes. break every yoke. Is it not to share your food with the hungry, and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? When you see the naked, to clothe them, and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood, then your light will break forth mm -hmm. like the dawn, and yes. your healing will quickly Amen. appear. Yes, Amen. Father. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord oh, will yes. be your rear guard. Yes, yes, then yes. you will call, and the Lord will answer. Uh, you will cry for help, and he will say, Here I oh, am. Thank you, if you do away with the yoke of oppression, with the pointing finger and malicious talk, and if you spend yourselves in behalf of the hungry, and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness, and your night will become like the noonday. Hallelujah. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land, and will strengthen your frame. Hallelujah. You will be like a well-watered garden, oh, Glory. like a spring whose water never fails. Oh, your people will... <laughs> rebuild the ancient ruins and will rise up at old age and will raise up the age old foundations you will be called repairer of broken walls restorer of streets with dwellings father we lift up those in authority in the church yes father in every function father the apostle all the way down to the teacher the prophet the um, evangelist, yes. the pastors, the teachers. We lift them all up to you. When the disciples asked Jesus, who is the greatest? And mm -hmm. he said, we are here to serve. He washed the feet of the disciples. And we pray today yes, that every Lord. leader will yes, humble Father. themselves yes, and Father. will wash the disciples' feet that 
they would know that there is not any job that is too small for them. Hallelujah. But they would lock arm in arm as Holy Spirit leads with love. They would teach. They will pastor. Yes, yes. They will yes. walk in their uh, calling yes, yes, in being yes. an apostle, a prophet, a teacher with the great love as Christ did, as our yes. master, that we would mirror him with great love and affection for those that they they that are in their congregation, in their ministries. Yes. In the yes. name of Jesus, Father Thank God, you. give them a desire yes. to follow after peace, yes. not to be argumentative, but only say what the Father says, just as Jesus said what his Father said. Because when we say what our Father says, it comes in power. Yes. And it comes in might. Yes. Yes. And the oppressed will be healed. Yes. And the anointing will destroy every yoke of bondage uh -huh. yes. in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. And that they would plea and they would call out for their members, Father God, as they were calling out for their own self or their children or even their spouse, Lord. Lord that they would come and submit themselves unto you, Lord, uh -huh. in the name Thank of Jesus, God. that Thank they God. would ask for more of a hunger and a thirst and not point fingers as it says here in Isaiah 58, Thank Father, you, but that, Lord, that we would walk in righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus, Thanks. Lord. We thank you, Father God, you. In, the, in Jesus' name. I hear you say for even the silent prayers that you answer, Thank Lord. You, Lord because you love Very your people. Perfect. We thank you for your kindness and we thank you for your goodness yes. in the mighty name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Glory to the Lamb. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, let's just take a minute and just worship the Lord yes. and praise Hallelujah. Him. And then we're going to close. Praise. Father, we praise you today for answering our prayers, and we praise you for today for everybody that is watching, Lord. We praise you, Father, that not one word will fall to the ground, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we praise you for the angels that are all over the city, O oh Lord. And we praise you, Father God, for the outskirts of the city, Father. We praise you for the angels that are in uh, every area. Oh, in the yes. name of Jesus, we uh -huh. bless you, Father, yes. and we magnify yes. your name. We praise you, Father God, because you're worthy to be praised today, Lord. You're worthy to be praised, Father. We thank you ahead of time, Lord, for everything that you are doing and everything, Father God, that your servants are doing throughout the land, Father God. We thank you, and we bless you, Papa. Yes. We bless you in the yes. name of yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you, hallelujah. Bless you. hallelujah. And we magnify yes. your name, hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes, my Lord. We thank you for joining us here today at I uh, Pray Experience. If you do have any prayer requests, go ahead and message us. We would love to pray for you. And we know that uh, wherever you are at, as you join us at whatever time, we thank you. We ask that you do share this, like it and share it, because we know as we get this word out, as we get the prayers out, there will be more people agreeing with yes. us. Yes. And so we're grateful, and we thank you, and we thank the Lord for our pray. And um, we just bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank and we you, hope Father. to see you tonight yes. at... Um, the SA Unite San Antonio. Glory. God bless you. Glory.